Today we're going to discuss the installer settings on a Brayburn touchscreen thermostat. Installer settings are recommended for the installer only. Changes to these settings can cause uh, erratic system behavior or your system not to work at all. So it is not recommended for the homeowners to make any changes to the installer settings. This particular thermostat is a model 6300 which can handle up to four heat, two cool heat pump systems or three heat, two cool conventional systems. Now the first thing an installer will want to do after installing a new Brayburn touchscreen thermostat is configure the installer settings based on the particular application. Now to enter the installer settings mode you simply press and hold the system and config touchpads together for approximately four seconds. The screen will change to the first installer setting which is residential or commercial modes. You can select the different options by pressing the speed bar up or down and you can advance to the next installer setting by pressing the next button or back a step with the back button. We'll set this up for residential mode and press next to advance to the second installer option. This installer option is for seven day programming mode. You can also select five two day programming or non-programmable. Press next. Our third installer option is 12 hour clock or 24 hour clock. Our next installer option is your temperature scale of degrees Fahrenheit or degrees Celsius. Auto changeover off or auto changeover on can be selected. This is your system type where you need to select what type of system you're um, putting this thermostat on. Uh, one heat, one cool conventional is the default. However, you can select two heat, two cool conventional, three heat, two cool conventional, one heat, one cool heat pump, two heat, two cool heat pump, three heat, two cool heat pump, or four heat, two cool heat pump. For this particular demonstration, we will leave it on four heat, two cool heat pump. Your first stage temperature differential defaults at 0.5 degrees. You can select one degree or two degrees. Your second stage differential defaults at two degrees. You can select three, four, five, six, one degree, or the default two. Your third and fourth stage temperature differentials have the same setting options as your second stage differential. Heat electric for emergency. That's asking what type of emergency heat do you have on this heat pump? An electric emergency heat or do you have gas emergency heat? Reversing valve O, reversing valve B. O is for a uh, cool active reversing valve, B is for a heat active reversing valve. Auxiliary heat electric or auxiliary heat gas. This is basically for your fossil fuel control. If you select gas, then on a call for auxiliary heat, your compressors will turn off after 60 seconds. Compressor short cycle protection. That's your five minute delay. You can also select four, three, two, or zero for your delay. Residual cooling fan delay. It gives you a 60 second, 90 second, zero second or 30 second delay in the cooling mode after the compressors have shut off that the fan will continue to run. Circulating fan lock mode, if turned on, provides the um, user with the only fan options of on and circulate. In the off mode, they're provided all the fan options, auto, on, circulate, and program. Early recovery mode, that's for programming mode where the thermostat can turn on the heating or cooling up to two hours early depending on how much temperature needs to be made up. You can select on or off for early recovery mode. This is your security level for keypad lockout. If you are using the three digit lock code, you can select two which locks the entire thermostat or security level one which locks everything except the up and down speed bar button. 90 limit, this is your high limit for heat. You can select 45 to 90 for your limit for heating and you can also select 45 90 for your low limit for cooling. And again you can use the back key to go back to any installer setting that you might still want to change 
Next goes forward and return will take you out of the installer options menu. At this point the installer options are configured. Um, there are no remote sensors attached to this particular thermostat. If there were, we would be given different options based on having an outdoor remote sensor or an indoor remote sensor. Or if we configured it for commercial mode on the first option, we would have been presented with some uh, different options as well. So see your installer manual for a full list of installer options uh, based on your particular configuration.